Yeah, Jay, so title races, mate, they are not for the faint-hearted. Um, and we've just seen that again. Like, we've been here before. We know what this feels like. Yeah. It doesn't get any easier. That was awful. <laughs> like, Jay, like, genuinely, that, that is... It's it's brilliant that you win, but you, if it feels so, so nervous and so tense because points are at a premium. We know what we're up against. It does just feel like, wow, this is going to... There's nine more of those left. Yeah. Well, we gave it the big build-up, didn't we? Like, fast start, you know, vital three points today. Got to get the job done. And then it's like, within 90 seconds, you're like, oh, here we go, you know? And you just... It always feels like with us, like, I don't know if it... I don't know if it... I mean, it is really, but, like, when, you, when you're looking at City's results over the past... Since Guardiola's been in, it's like, oh, yeah, 2-0 up after, like, 18 minutes. And, like, that game's over. It just never seems like that with us. Another one of them today. <sighs> There's going to be more moments like this. And yep. We're not going to just win every game 3-0 between now and the end of the season. Like, But this is what you're in it for, isn't it? You know, you've, you've, you've got to have these nervy moments. I was all right at the end there. I was, apart from, there was a few little pass outs from the back, which reminded me a little bit of the Man U game the other day, but... We've got another nine of these, so you can't be you can't be flapping too early, Steve. You've Did got you think, to. Uh, sorry, I, I agree because I was nervous. I'm not going to lie, I, yeah. I wasn't great. Did you think Liverpool were nervous because I actually felt for most of the game, although it was a bit of an end to end, Liverpool felt okay. Yeah. But in that injury time, there was a couple of, or like later on, there was a couple like Keller had given it to Bradley when he's got three men on him, yeah. or like go the corner flag and Joe Gomez is putting crosses into the box. Yeah. You you right to reference the Man United game because Liverpool rightly got criticised for their game management. At, at, you know, at 2-1, at 3-2, and again at 3-all, they were rightly criticised for giving the ball away. They were maybe a bit too adventurous or something. Yeah. Did you, did you put that down to nerve style of play? Because it was, it, was, it, it was out of character with the rest of the game. Because I actually felt, for the most part, they were quite chill. But maybe, again, the human beings, pressures on, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. how did you feel he dealt with that? I think at the end, maybe that is a bit of a sign of the context of it. Yep. Getting to them, it must... It, it You can kind of transfer it from the crowd as well the crowd are thinking yeah. when that Lalana shot goes right wide it's like oh my god imagine if Lalana had come back and scored like you yeah. just all of these horrible scenarios or like when start. the goal when the goal isn't given and it's like and you're thinking yeah i've been here before with people yeah. me- telling me measurements for goals that we yeah. haven't quite got and it, it just the recipe was building up towards the the the, the fatal story and thankfully they never yeah. fell for it I thought the in terms of nervousness or whatever, once they got went the one goal down within the first five or six minutes after that, they'd already started creating chances. So, I think they reacted really well in terms they they, they didn't they didn't get into this kind of fatalistic mindset yeah. of like oh my god we've gone one nil down like first chance they've had they've scored. So I thought they did really well to come back into it. Pretty much controlled control the midfield control most of the game they would they look dangerous on the break so i yeah i thought their character was great in terms of coming back into it got the set what turned out to be the winner could have had a third uh, just maybe those last few minutes there was a i mean i heard using there shouting at cody Gakpo because he started dribbling into the box instead of just taking it to the yeah. corner flag and all that so maybe just one or two little moments towards the end of games where people just have to be a bit smarter but other than that I thought they did show really good character to come back all in all and I say we, we, we're recording this live guys just as Manchester City Arsenal's kicked off we, 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 whatever happens in this game it doesn't matter well, it does but it doesn't the important thing is there Jay is that Liverpool you said before the game before the game you know, they, they, they might need 30 they might not it's, 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 who knows Yeah. but what it means now is they got three of them there's 27 left to go. Yeah. That's one of the more tougher games against a team that we have struggled to, to get them against. You rally around Thursday and you go again. It's, it, it is now going to be that type of thing. It's going to be relentless, this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, like, you know, I think we all <laughs> knew what we were getting ourselves in for. The players certainly do. I, I'm really... I'm excited. I mean, I'm nervous as well, but <clears throat> I'm... For a long time in the season, I've thought, well, I think we're capable of getting, like... 87 points or something will that be enough probably not but you know i don't know what we could get as our max now but we could get 90 we could get you know 91 or what like we can win this league i'm excited of the combination of the likes of van dyke and, and allison and robertson and, and trent actually even though he's still a young man who've all been there and done it and and won everything 
they're now they're going to be stewarding the likes of Harvey Elliott in there and Sobersly, who's you know he's I know he's his inter, he's his country's captain, but he's <coughs> he's not experienced this kind of thing. Nope. McAllister, I mean, he's won a World Cup, but he hasn't experienced these Premier League title runnings. I mean, I could be wrong, but I've just never thought the, the year when we got picked by one point and we both City and Liverpool won like the last twelve or something like, wasn't it something like that? Just nobody. We, um, we can get a, not just an interview, We can get a ninety-four. Yeah, and you might need to with the again. Who knows? We'll see yeah. how it all pans out. But getting, uh, getting, just getting that them that them that win today because. They, that's a game last season that Liverpool lost. Liverpool got beat by Brighton. They drew with the mayor of the season. Yeah, I, I think we, I think we should praise the character because that was a tough game. And yeah. Liverpool, we talk about mentality monsters all the time, and last year they weren't mentality monsters. They, they, they're back to find a way to win football games again, or there or thereabouts. You know, Man United last week was or before the break was an, an aberration. Really, they really yeah. have, they really have. You know, they should have bat, they battered United. They have took the foot off the gas and got and got sucker punched a little bit. If it felt like maybe they learned the lessons from that maybe a bit, and they've gone, you know what? Actually, now nah, like that 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 that, that is happening again. Like yeah. we're we're getting over this line, and ultimately, like you know, you, the player, your best player scores the winning goal. Your big your big players deliver again. Yeah. And if Liverpool's big players, your McAllisters, your Van Dykes, your Salas keep performing, they've got every chance here. Yeah, they certainly have. Like, um, I just think, I don't know. I think they've um. They've got it. They've definitely got it in them. The big players are going to come to the fore again. I just get the feeling, you know, we've got we've got Sheffield United coming up. It was vital to get off the mark today. We've got that three points. There's more than enough in this squad to do. You talk about the Klopp factor and all that sort of thing. I I think it's it feeds from the crowd as well because I don't know about you but when we went 1-0 down today I thought alright we'll get back yep. into this whereas 100%. last season talking about the difference between this season and last season I think I'd have been and certainly all my mates who I watched the match would have been like oh my god here we go because yep. that, that happened yep. that happened so so often last yep. season agreed Um, I just we've got you know they had the stats up we've got more points from winning positions in it from losing positions than anybody else so all right we don't want to be going one nil down all the time but we can react to these setbacks and you know I just think that they're they're in a really good position to go on and try and win this league and we'll you know we'll see what what happens in this city game but I'm I'm confident I'm, I am confident we can do it. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord, and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.